Hello everyone, my name is Kevin and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you the steps that you should take as a beginner in the stock market. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is, is determine what strategy you want to use. So the strategy with the shortest time frame is day trading. In day trading, you're not investing in companies, you're just trying to get in and out of them many times in a day. So you don't even have to care what happens to these companies. All you care about is what happens to the stock price. The second strategy is short-term trading. This is where you go into stocks for possibly a week, possibly a month, or even a couple months. And you're just trying to play events. Companies announce their earnings four times a year, every three months. What a lot of short-term traders do is, if they expect a company to have good earnings, they'll buy into that stock. If they think that a company is going to have bad earnings, they might short shares, which is basically betting against a company. These first two strategies are a lot of speculation. Day trading is definitely not investing, and I wouldn't really consider short-term trading investing either. The third option is the buy and hold strategy. For this strategy, there's a lot of looking into companies. You look to buy shares of a company that you're going to hold for at least one year and you can confidently predict where the company's numbers are going to be then. And you would be predicting that off of all the things that I look at in a company, which hopefully at some point I will put a link down in the comment section to a course that will teach you all the things that you should look at in a company for the strategy. So four out of five of the richest stock investors are value investors, which is a buy and hold strategy so buy and hold logically seems to be the strategy that you should go with. The second step that you're going to want to take is to open and fund a brokerage account. The third thing that you're going to want to do is figure out what websites and apps that you're going to use. The app that I have on my phone is Stock Tracker. The fourth thing that you're going to want to do is look for indexes and or companies to invest in. My choice of indexes goes like this. The NASDAQ 100, the NASDAQ composite. Third, which is actually not an index, but it's practically an index, it's Berkshire Hathaway, which, you know, it performs like an, an index. Besides investing completely into Berkshire if you want to, your other option is to use it as a great foundation stock to your portfolio. The fourth index is the S&P 1500 which performs a tiny bit better than the S&P 500. Which, the S&P 500 is my fifth choice, and then my sixth choice is the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which, you know, I don't recommend anything past the S&P 500. So I don't even recommend the Dow Jones Industrial Average. But, you know, in terms of index performance, it's next. Seventh is the New York Stock Exchange ARCA Major Market Index. And then lastly is the New York Stock Exchange Composite. The fifth thing you're going to want to do is make your decision on what you want to buy and how much money you want to put into it. Sixth is to place a buy order for however many shares of whatever you want to buy. You can place a market order which means that shares will be purchased at whatever they are currently trading at. Or you could put in a limit order, which means that if you don't want to pay anything over a certain price, your shares will only get bought if they're at the limit price or lower. The seventh thing you're going to want to do is to put in a sell order once you want to. Once again, you can place a market order, which means that the shares will be sold at whatever they are currently trading at. Or you can put in a limit order, which means that if you don't want to sell anything lower than a certain price, your shares will only get sold if they're at the limit price or higher. When selling your shares, something you've got to keep in mind is taxes. You are taxed less if you held your shares for more than one year than if you are if you held your shares for less than one year. If you sold your shares after less than one year, you would be taxed at your normal income tax rate. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, you should always go with companies that you understand what they do. I do not recommend that you buy stocks that are on the OTC market, which is over-the-counter market. They're all very unknown companies with very little information about them and their numbers. Make sure that if you're looking at foreign companies that you know what currency the company's numbers are in. 
I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said earlier, if you want to learn exactly how I pick stocks and what I look for in companies, hopefully at some point I will put down in the comment section a link to my course on how to invest in stocks, bonds, and cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching and have a great day.